So today's Five Minutes of Good is with uh, the Be Bold campaign. We have Joanne and Susan here who've started the campaign. Um, and I just think it's so important they're, what they're doing. They're taking negative words and turning them into positive words. It's how I see it. But um, Joanne, do you want to tell us how you and Susan got started doing this? Sure. Susan and I got started um, doing this. We met at a function and I was involved with a different organization. And then uh, we, we met and I wanted to get some photos done by her. So right. we got together and we, she's way back. <laughs> okay, Susan. Oh gosh, pressure. Well, I think we just clicked right away and we both had a, a common interest in helping people and I wanted to um, do some photography to help um, Joanne with her other business and then it just kind of um, progressed into this Be Bold campaign. Um, I just had the idea of, of I've made a chalkboard for another shoot and I said why don't we get pictures of people um, with the names that they were called when they were bullied and have them change it into a positive anagram. Um, I'm a total glass half full person so that was why I thought of the positive and Joanne said totally let's do it. I think we met the next week and did her chalkboard which um, said loser and she came up with some pretty fabulous I'm not a loser though. and she's not that's right pretty that's fabulous right. words for that and um, I think we put up on Facebook that night and within hours not even hours minutes within minutes we had responses from people and it's gone from there. Right, so so basically there's a chalkboard people hold, they write the word they've been called, and then again, you change this to positive words. I think that when I get to do my shoot with you, hopefully in the next yeah. week or so, um, I'm going to use the word weird, because that's something I've been called my She's whole life. Really weird, though. Well, yeah. a little bit, but I'm proud. <laughs> yes. But I'm proud. Um, and so you, you did tell me this beautiful story about basically when the photo happens, it actually has an ending place that I never really quite realized. Yes. Um, I thought, you know, the, the existence of the image is pretty awesome, but then, but then, I just love that story. Will you share that story? So, um, there was a little girl who um, came to do a shoot with us, and she um, suffers from a, a quite a, a, a strong social anxiety, and it causes her to only talk to about two people in her life. Um, she's uh, just afraid to talk to anyone else it gives her a lot of stress so she was going to write the word mute and she decided not to and she wrote the word different and um, came up with some pretty fabulous um, um, words for that and she was so proud of the board and so excited that her mom told me that she printed it off I sent she asked for a copy right away I sent it to her she printed it off and the next day brought it to school and because she doesn't talk she's never talked in school had her friend the one friend she does talk to um, say it out to the class and explain it to them so now that sits in her room yeah I just I think it's just amazing these images exist for young people or adults people who are struggling mm -hmm with being labeled uh, in a way that isn't positive, but to take it home and literally see it, look at it every day, it kind of falls in line with my mirror, I love you. Yes, I love that. Every day, so, you know, looking in the mirror and saying I love you to yourself, it's the same kind of thing. You, you go home and you say, sure, I'm weird, but that's wonderful, entertaining, yeah. interesting, real, yeah. dynamic, you know, it's, so I think that's just great. And so now you guys are, you started in Vancouver, and you have interest from other cities, and Be Bold is starting to spread. Yes. Be Bold has made it to France. Oh, that's awesome. We, uh, we had a documentary filmmaker there at our gala launch last Saturday from France, and he was working on a, uh, he's working on a 42 minute documentary for a new show that would be equivalent to like 16 by 9. Oh, okay. So, right? so um, so we're going to be airing in France in September. Oh yeah. That's awesome. And we're going to Edmonton in August. In August. Edmonton. And <laughs> one, one, and she's going to West Edmonton. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and uh, but one of the things that has come up in the last day or two of course is Calgary. Right? So we talked quickly about it yesterday that the some of the proceeds that we get from the shoot in Edmonton will go to the flood victims in Calgary. That's really wonderful. That's one of the things you guys are doing, right? A, a lot of the money you're raising is about supporting other charities. Which yes. Yes. I think it's really great. So, some are, what are some of the charities that you guys have supported and are supporting in the future at this point? 
Uh, we're supporting the Amanda Todd Legacy Society. Right. Um, Beauty Night Society. Which was on my last five minutes. Good. Right. Yes. yes. Um, I've been in connection with the North Shore Disability Resource Centre. Oh, good. Um, that's an organization that um, supports children and adults and youth with um, some kind of developmental disability or physical disability. And I'm sure there's all sorts of labeling that they get in their lives as well yeah. that isn't as empowering as yeah. some pretty words could be. And I think Joanne and I are thinking we just want to constantly be giving to different charities so like women's shelters maybe or you know like autism, autism or children's hospital or just kind of see where the need is and are you focusing then more on youth or just humanity really humanity I would yeah say. you know we started off with youth but we saw so many adults who were benefiting from the release of their word their word mm -hmm. That's so, beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think this little one, this is Keely, <laughs> my daughter, if you're wondering. Um, for kids her age, because as a mom, just, hey, Keely, as a mom, as you are, and yeah. you are, um, but as um, a mom of little ones, I'm worried about the future for her and how to empower her. I think a lot of this can be an empowerment campaign. And even though she hasn't been bullied, um, she wrote a board that says, I am. And what does it say on it? Um, it says, Yeah, all the positive things she is so that she's empowered and we're going to print that and put it in her room so when she has those self-esteem moments I can say look read to me all the great things you are right so I think that's pretty that's cool that's awesome that's awesome well thank you so much be bold for joining me for this week's five minutes of good we're going to call this six and a half minutes of good uh, thanks for having me thank, oh, thank you thank you thank you bye guys bye